Hey everyone, I just wanted to introduce you to the Samsung Chromebook Pro and I've been trying to record a video for the past couple days and figure out what's the best way to show you what this thing does. Um, so I thought, well, the best way to do that is just to use it and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, this is actually being recorded with a screen capture app that I downloaded or well not downloaded but it's living in my browser here, the Chrome browser. This is called Screencastify that I have installed on uh, my Chromebook Pro. Um, and that's what you're seeing here. And you're also hearing the microphone, the internal microphone, um, which I think it picks up my voice really well. Definitely loud enough. I mean, it doesn't have that nice tonal quality to it, but but definitely loud enough by far. Um, so I'm just going to take you through what this does because you maybe you're like you're new, like me and you're new to Chromebooks. You know, I'm coming from a MacBook Pro. Um, it had a 2012 model and it kind of pooped out on me and it needs some expensive repairs, maybe even replaced. And that's like $2,000, and I didn't want to spend that kind of money. Um, and before that, I had Windows uh, computers. So, uh, and Chromebooks are a little bit different. They, they definitely take a little bit of adjusting, too, because um, it, you're going to get used to the cloud. I mean, a lot of your files are going to be stored on the cloud, um, and even the web applications. They're just kind of extensions through Google Chrome. Um, that used to be the only way... That, the only kind of apps that you could use was through Google Chrome. Um, and I can, well, let me t show you that. We'll go to the web store. Let me get out of this. Turn that off there. Uh, we'll go to a web. Let's see, do I have it on here? Oh, okay. We'll go up here. Um, web store. There we go. This is the Chrome web store. Um, and these are just the different applications that you can um, install as, ex as extensions through the Chrome browser. And like I said, this used to be the only way or only apps that you could use with the Google Chrome uh, computer. Of course, now you also have uh, Google, the Google Play Store. And for me, that's what really uh, was a game changer for me because I'm coming from, uh, I had Samsung Galaxy smartphones, you know, Android smartphones forever um, and Samsung tablets um, in the past. And I have, well, I have one right now too. And I've always been very happy with that and been been an Android user for a long, long time, so I'm very familiar with the, the Play Store um, and just the applications that it has to offer. And then, of course, all those other things, um, which I can show you. Uh, let's see. Uh, one thing I know is that uh, the Facebook app doesn't really work too well on my Chromebook anyway. Uh, of course, you can still use Facebook. You just use the Google Chrome. You just use the browser, um, and you still get your notifications, which is nice. And actually, your notifications show up over here. <clears throat> Uh, which is really nice, really handy. You can see um, just different things that you have. Whoops! I got right out of that, didn't I? I think it's taking me to my game. Oh, well, here we go. I'll just show you. I'm just going to play this game. <laughs> here we go. And this is a two-in-one computer, so I can use the touch screen on here. I didn't mean to do that, but hey, this is better anyway. I'll show you how this works. And you might be noticing some lag on this um, in the recording. Um, and that's just, I think, because of the limitations of the, the screen capture software. But I'm not noticing anything, any kind of lag as I'm playing this. Go, 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 go. Hey, I'm doing pretty good this time. Go, go. All right. And this is called Hill Climb 2. And I got this is off of uh, Google Play. There's a moose. Oh no, I think this is in. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> That's a fun game to play. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why that fired up. I don't know what I did. I was over here. I must have hit this. I must have been up here where I must have hit something. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, here's the uh, your notifications. And Smurfs Village, I do have my Smurfs Village on here. I've been playing that for a long time. I think that's going to fire up now. <laughs> You're going to get to see my Smurfs Village. Here it comes. And that's weird. I don't know. I don't know if I'm hitting something. I don't know what I did. But you're learning right along with me. And like I said, I am new to Chromebooks. And this, you're hearing the speaker here. I'm going to turn this down. So, oops, I turned it all the way off. I didn't want to do that. Back up here. Okay, and I don't want to. I don't want to buy a squirrel right now. And I'm just using the touch screen on here. There we go. There are my Smurfs. All right, and I got one hour and forty one minutes left on my peanuts. <laughs> and my important work that I do on here. Yeah, and that was one of the reasons why I chose 
a Chromebook, um, I was thinking, well, I could get a new MacBook, uh, but do I really need to spend $2,000 <laughs> anymore? Um, I used to be a graphic designer um, and to, was pretty heavy into that, so I, I needed a pretty powerful computer. Uh, but anymore, I don't do that too much. All I do is some photo editing uh, for the website and just some basic video editing. And uh, those are the questions that I had for the Chromebook. Uh, does it do those things? And it does. I did. I found some nice apps. Um, one of the things here's a called Kind Master, um, and this is I can edit videos with this, which is pretty cool. And I actually like this. Um, you can add some text, and here I'll just go ahead and play this. Whoops. I don't want that. Now there, we'll go play this. Something that uh, I would really enjoy having uh, because I've had Samsung tablets in the past. Actually, I have one right now, too. Um, and I've used them for a number of years. And for Samsung smartphones, I've used for a number of years. Uh, so I've always had good luck with them. And Gracie, that's my dog in the background whining. Um, anyway. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, you can see the Chromebook here. Um, let, me, let me scroll through here. Maybe I got some better pictures of it. Uh, there we go. I can actually show it to you. Thin design and lightweight. Um, I think this is about two pounds, a little over two pounds. Um, it's, it's got a little catch to it. I mean, it's not heavy by any means, uh, but it definitely feels substantial. It feels like a good quality product. Um, but it's something that I could take on trips with me on vacations. I know I've always missed uh, uh, when I go on vacations. I never took my computer with me. I wasn't going to take a, you know my MacBook because I didn't want to get it damaged because um, they're too expensive to replace. Uh, so I just took a tablet with me and they're just limited um, because you don't have the keyboard. Uh, and even you can get a keyboard from Bluetooth one, but they're never as good as just having one that's built in as like this is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Well, well, at least you can see it there. Um, and I wanted to show you, let's see, the keyboard on here. If I had it. There we go. If you notice up here, there is the uh, this top row, and it doesn't have function keys like um, what you would have with a, a MacBook or um, with a Windows computer. But they do have these handy things, and this button right here will bring up uh, all the apps that are running right now, which is really nice. It's it's really handy to have. Um, the more that I use this, the more that I like it. I mean, it is a little limited um, as, of course, to the processing power. I did choose the uh, Chromebook Pro over the Chromebook Plus because the Pro does have the better processor. And I've it's worked really nicely for me. I mean, um, there's really no lag. If you notice any lag in this video, I, I think that's just because of the screen capture software. Um, because when I'm using it, like when I'm playing that game, uh, with the, the car racing game there, the hill climb, uh, there's really no lag in that at all. And then another thing I wanted to say about the, the Chromebook uh, Pro from Samsung uh, is that the display on it is just great. Um, I was looking at some other Chromebooks um, a couple days ago uh, at a store uh, because my son's going to need one for school. Actually, his school uh, requires Chromebooks, which a lot of educational institutions are anymore because they work so well in uh, uh, for education. Um, but the, the, the displays on them were not nearly as good as the, uh, the Samsung displays. And Samsung just makes really good displays. I've always said that about their smartphones or even their smartwatches. I mean, they just make really awesome displays. Um, and this is just, this is another example of it. I mean, just really gorgeous colors. Um, and I will get out of that. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? I went here. This is Google Play. And like I said, you still only have the option to get apps through the, the web store, the Chrome web store. Of course, now you have Google Play as well, um, which is great. And then let's see what else. What's really nice to have on here? Oh, I've got Netflix. I can fire that up. And so I can watch uh, my Netflix on here, uh, which is nice. And you, hopefully you can see the nice colors on this. Um, there might be a, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to be converted in the video, but in person, I uh, just looking at the screen, the colors are amazing and it's just wonderful displayed. I really can't say that enough. Uh, what else? Of course, I've got Google Docs and uh, I definitely use Google Docs a lot when I was in college. Um, and one of the nice things about that, of course, is that your files are saved in the cloud. And you can also work in a collaborative manner with other people if you want to. And I know some of the classes that I took uh, required that. We had to work together 
uh, to write a paper and that turned out terrible you know group work ugh, awful <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we had to do that. And then another class, we had to use Google Slides, which is uh, Google's version of PowerPoint. And then we worked together on that to create um, a presentation. Uh, so uh, that's really nice. It's one of the advantages of the cloud. And then just another advantage of that, you know, using Google Photos. Um, I installed that app on my iPhone. Uh, so any of the photos that I take with my iPhone or videos, I have access to on the computer. And well, let me go to that here. And I close out of this. And we'll go to Google Photos. I'm going to show you that real quick. Like, um, there we go. And this is just going to show the photos that um, I've taken. Oh, <laughs> that's from work. I had to do that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. There's the pictures of the um, the Chromebook Pro, and then some videos that I took of it. Um, and you see, I was really, I've been trying to take, make a video for a long time and none of them turned out that good. And I don't know if this one is either, but, <laughs> but I think this is a really good way to show you what it does um, because I'm actually using the computer and I'm using software that you can use uh, or applications that you can use through a Google Chromebook. Um, so, uh, cause I had a lot of questions about that too, you know, and you could definitely edit videos. Um, like I said, that was that kind master I showed you. And then there's also, of course, um, uh, photo editing apps. Let's see if I got one on here. I think I do. I haven't used it a whole lot. Uh, uh, uh. Do I have one? I don't know. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you. Uh, it, this does have a pin. We'll just forget about that. You'll just have to believe me that there are photo editing apps. <laughs> anyway, I just pulled a pin out of the computer. Um, and I can capture a region with this, which is really neat. And we'll just go here and capture this. And then I can um, write notes on it. And that is really handy. Um, I wish I had this when I was in college, um, especially if you're viewing PDF files or just web pages, presentations, whatever. Um, you can then go ahead and uh, write little notes on it, and which is great. And right now, again, you are I am noticing a lag, and that's because of the screen capture software. Otherwise, this is really snappy. It's really fast. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Um, definitely a big advantage of having that pin. Of course, you can draw and sketch with it. And there are some really nice apps for it, that. Well, anyway, I think that's it. Um, yeah, this does come with 32 gigabytes of internal uh, storage, which isn't much. I wish it came more came with more than that, but you can expand it. It has a micro SD uh, slot and you can, I know you can at least expand it another 256 gigabytes because that's the card that I'm going to buy for it. Um, I'm not sure what the, the limit is, but that should give me enough storage. Um, that should be good. And I do like that it has ports on both sides uh, for me to, uh, for the, the charging cord, which is nice. And it does have a headphone jack and a microphone jack. It's a kind of a dual function one. Uh, so yeah, really good. I, I'm really enjoying this. I'm glad I purchased it. It was about, I think they go for about $550 normally. I got it on sale, but uh, yeah, it's not the cheapest Chromebook, but I think it's one of, definitely one of the best. So. And if I have more to say about it, I'll make another recording. I hope this helped you um, just kind of make a decision about this or about Chromebooks um, just in general. If you have questions, you know, feel free to, free to comment and hopefully I can uh, chime in in there and uh, or somebody else can answer your question. But um, thanks for watching. I'm glad to be back. I'm going to make some more videos and we'll be uh, 2019. There's a lot more to come. Of course, I'm still reviewing smartwatches and fitness trackers. That's normally what I do. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for all your support this year and uh, all the, the likes and uh, the, those of you who subscribed. I'm really, really thankful for that. And um, I just hope to bring you better stuff in 2019. So thanks a lot and have a very good, happy new year. And now i got to try to close out of this. Let me go up here. There we go. And now I'm going to stop it. Okay. See you next time.